So this year's guided tour of my uh, collection of steam toys for STWWW 2011. We'll start with the uh, boats this year I think. On the end there is uh, the infamous Hamburper sitting next to a Rattan Deep Pop-Pop Titanic. Uh, underneath there is several more smaller pop pop boats and then of course there is the uh, any real boat in my collection is the uh, Midwest Fantail. On the uh, mobiles shelves uh, start off with a Willesco roller there sitting next to a Mamad roller and a Mamad T1 traction engine. Next shelf down is the steam wagon Mamad and next to that is uh, one of my Mamod modifications. that's the Dray. Next shelf uh, is the Wells traction engine there and the uh, Sharabang sitting on its, on its own on this shelf is the uh, SA1 steam car. I say on its own, but uh, it's got a few friends for company. And then here we have the Hornby Stevenson's rocket, three and a half inch gauge, and also also a three and a half inch gauge is the uh, AMP lookalike. And then here in the O-gauge shelf is the Bowman 234 and Mamad Jubilee Edition Locos SL6. And now with the stationaries, starting off with the uh, Kleinemeyer engine house there. And the rest of that shelf is taken up by a row of SELs. And then on this shelf we have uh, Yopitech sitting next to an engine there which is uh, as yet still unidentified but I'm pretty sure is uh, mostly scratch built. And then we have Latimer Plain L4, Bernac and the little aid on the end there. And here we have a row of miniature engines. It's the Hillcraft Beam with and without a boiler, Marine, Jenny Wren, and the Lilliput. And then we have a row of Ben Peaks engines. Starting off with the micro there, my latest acquisition, minor, major, and the one, two, hiding behind the shelf there, hang on, and there's a three, and then there's Littleston and the Cell Marine. Next shelf, start off with the Mersey there. An MF Twin and a couple of Sildon engines and then tucked away in this uh, little shelf there is uh, Wells Stationery and another Sildon and a Mamard Marine engines 1, 2 and 3 and Carno engine and then down here we have a Bowman 122, Bowman 175 and a Luton Bowman and half hidden there is the M101 and here we have a Whedon 14 and 
couple of Bing engines, a little vertical there, a big one there. Quite a tall chimney on that one. And then down here we have another Whedon. There's uh, an Empire there, B31, recent acquisition. Jensen 70 and Robert Fulton line and then uh, on the bottom shelf here we have uh, it's an East German engine I can never remember the name of the manufacturer something like VB Pump and Brow or something or other but it's a D 1.5 anyway and then sitting next to that is the Swedish John, Ex John Ericsson engine and on this shelf we have a row of Amada C2s various ages and a 2A on the end there and then we have Amada C3 the SE3C three cylinder version and the Sectioned SE3, and then here we have SE4 sitting next to a white SP4, and then we have the uh, sectioned Velesco D16 engine and a little Mamad Miner there. And then on this last shelf, there's uh, Velesco D3. D6 and D16.